the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good friends, it is Friday, and we thank God for the day of March in the year of our Lord and Savior 2022. I am sure you have um, received the documents now. Now you have it. I am sure now you have the novena. I am sure hundred percent. And if you don't, we keep on sending them to you. <laughs> I am laughing because uh, somebody told me that, you know, Father, you told us to treat ourselves well and we have no money. <laughs> so I asked him, what do, you, what do you want us to do? <laughs> so I don't want to tell you what he said because I know him. He's, a, he's not a good man. But I told him, go and work. Go and work, <laughs> go and, work and you have money. <laughs> Otherwise, you become a thief and you'll be killed. <laughs> ha! Dear good men, get out of the past. Another way of loving yourself is refusing to be stuck in the past. Let me ask you, who doesn't have a yesterday? Who doesn't have a yesterday? We all do. And one way of knowing that you are maturing in life is when you are able to differentiate your yesterday and your today. In fact, even when, you are, when I'm talking to people, I remind them all the time, you cannot judge somebody because, uh, from what you saw 10 years ago. Ten years ago, they were doing what they were doing. But for goodness sake, today we are in 2022. And you are judging a man on his behaviors of 2012. No, that is not right. 2012, he was doing this and that. The man has gone through a rebirth. The man has gone through transformation. Even if nothing has changed, the man now is 10 years older. And I am sure the wisdom of age must have come upon him. So you cannot be telling us, you know, the Father CK was like this, like, like this, 10 years ago. 10 years ago. 10. 10. Whatever you did, you did 10 years ago. Whatever you did, you did 15 years ago. Whatever you did, you did 20 years ago. You cannot judge yourself using the wisdom of 20 years ago. You have grown, haven't you? You have. And one way of now getting yourself out of the murky waters is to learn to let go and let God. Let past remain in the past. Let past remain in the past. That is why it is called the past. Embrace the responsibility of today and get ready for the challenge of tomorrow. Know that you need other people. Another way of loving yourself is knowing that no man is an island. None. You can love yourself. I know you can. And because you can, do it. Don't settle for less. You are not, you are not uh, an afterthought. You are God's masterpiece. Dear man, you are God's masterpiece. I was reading a commentary on the, book of, uh, on the book of Genesis, the story of creation. And the writer partly said that uh, from the masterpiece that God made, he picked a piece to create a woman. Dear men, that is how important you are. That is how, that is how um, important, this is the word I'm looking for, uh, to demonstrate how, how, how good you are, dear men. A masterpiece of God cannot settle for less. In all things, in your relationships, in your everything, dear men, carry yourselves 
as God's masterpiece. The moment you know or you realize that you are God's masterpiece, I am sure before God and his holy church, you will stop taking yourself for granted. You will stop allowing people to take you for granted. You will stop living life from the cheap side of life. You will start living a qualitative life because that is what God wants of you. A quality man. Quality man. Quality lifestyle. Quality attitudes. And hope for tomorrow. I love that. Find what is good in your life and pursue it. Find what is good in your life and please pursue it. It may take long. Don't mind. We talked about patience. Do not be accused of impatience. Be patient. Pursue it. You get there. This could be my best. After self-care, surround yourself with the positive people. Positive people. We can also call them hope-filled human beings. Men who are positive. Men who can build you. Men who can challenge you. Men who speak content. Not always going out for a drink. Going out for a drink. Going to meet girls. Going to do this. Men who participate in your financial growth. Men who participate in your social growth. Men who participate in your intellectual growth. Men who participate in your spiritual growth. Not men who are always there to eat you whatever you have. You can't always be surrounded by men who are consumers in your life. Refuse. Refuse to be a garbage bean. That does not sound so good. But I'm using it without apology. It's a concept that tells us that we cannot be a garbage bean. Everything bad is thrown to us. No. That every man who has no direction, you are the friend. Every man who has killed his dream, you are his friend. Every man who has mismanaged his family, you are his friend. Every man who is mismanaging himself, you are his friend. No, 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 please, no, 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 please, no, please, no. Refuse, refuse to receive garbage every other time. You are God's masterpiece. God's masterpiece don't entertain garbage. Please don't. Allah. <laughs> hey. I want to stop there because I want to finish this tomorrow because I know men will say enough is enough. Shout and say enough is enough as a man. How comes that uh, all people who have no direction you are the one who preserve them? <laughs> uh, my name is Father CK just in case Father, Son and the Holy Spirit.